So every thought, every emotional response is a frequency. It, it generates a frequency and it is of, of itself a frequency. Hate is a frequency and it's different to love. You know, when you are in a, in a room and there's lots of aggression and conflict and hatred, you feel it. What do people say? Oh God, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife in there. That is because the frequencies of hate and conflict have been so generated, they have changed the electromagnetic field of the room. When you go driving your car and your channel on the radio is tuned to a station and you're grooving to the music, you love that music. As you get farther and farther away from the broadcasting tower, that music gets static. You start to lose the signal from the clear channel, broadcast, and it gets staticky. When it gets staticky, you get a little annoyed. But you want to listen to it. You really have a heart for that music. So you continue to listen to it for another 10, 15 miles, and suddenly it becomes so annoying that you just get disgusted. You go, ah, and you shut it off. And if you continue to listen to it, you get sick. That's what we're talking about here. Except you don't even know that you've been listening to the static your whole life. You don't even know what the true resonant frequency is because it has been kept from you. Now, of course, to really be effective, we need to use the proper words and phrases scientifically selected. But that gives you the basic idea. We embed messages just below the threshold of perception so they can go directly into the subconscious. They can play across a community these frequencies without anyone knowing and it starts to have an effect and it starts to build, build rage, it starts to build anger and people might not realize why they're feeling it, they start to feel it. And then what they do is they, they trigger that with an event, maybe a, you know some guy is attacked by the police or something or somebody's a, arrested for something they didn't commit and now the, there's the trigger. The blue touch paper's been lit of this manufactured frequency-driven rage and you have mass riots and what have you and people do things that they wouldn't normally do. So in other words, the master composer, master conductor of the Universal Orchestra is singing love songs in 528, uplifting everything simultaneously. And we're the only species out of tune and accepting static for the clear channel. Do you know that the American military, they've admitted